Welcome to Nondo Awaken, your soul's unlimited potential. My name is Eva and as always I'm so happy to have you here with me and today we are continuing the Akashic series, my favorite topic ever, right? Today I'm doing part three where I'm going to be doing a deep dive into how we create blocks and restrictions in our own souls that manifest in the form of lack, lack in different areas of our lives, money, relationships or health, right? So if you're curious about that, do watch the video until the end where I'm also going to be sharing how soul realignment work, which is the work I do for my clients, can actually help you clear from all these blocks and restrictions that have been keeping you stuck, have been making you manifest the same difficult, negative situations over and over again, and really actually help you tap into your unlimited and best potential as a soul. So if you're curious about that, wait until the end of the video where I'm going to be introducing that and really going into detail about that right so let's dive into how do we create blocks and restrictions and how does that manifest in form of luck in our current lives okay so if you watched the previous video i did do a deep dive into what the soul is and how the soul is designed right so if you haven't watched the video please go back and watch it before you continue this because um a lot of the introducing concepts that I'm going to be talking about in this video, I did in that video. Or if not, you can wait until the end of the video where I'm going to be sharing a link for you at the end. And you can just go and check it out from there, okay? So, let's dive into, right, today's topic. How do we create blocks and restrictions, right? So, I talked about our souls are made up of and building blocks which we call energy centers. And if you remember the drawing below me, behind me, sorry. Yes, you know, my funny little drawing over here. Don't judge if you were seeing the drawing for the first time, basically. But this is what I talked about in that video, that basically look at this entire, I want to say container, as your soul, right? So your soul is made up of energy centers, right? And there's one particular energy center which we are most abundant in, which we're designed to receive vital force energy, which is the energy we need to create the kind of life we want for ourselves. Right, so how we're designed to receive vital force energy from the creator through one particular energy center. We, we have aspects of which energy center in our souls, okay, so there are eight. But one is the biggest, right? And that is what we call the primary energy center, where all our divine gifts are contained. And basically how we're supposed to live and how we're supposed to create our human experience is by leveraging these gifts to create those the kind of life that we want right but what usually happens is that most people forgot who they are right like we we were incarnated here no one gave us a blueprint like this is how you're supposed to live life this is what you're supposed no one did that we've ha we've been having to figure that out for ourselves for such a long time and when you look at the history of humanity right all the way to the cave mondays right where conformity was a basic was basically a survival tactic for human beings right because if you didn't do things that didn't align to the tribe you get kicked out and getting kicked out basically was death for you so people will do everything to make sure they weren't standing out or causing too much upheaval in their tribes because they didn't want to die right when they kick, got kicked out they'd have to deal with the wild animals that are out there and chances are you will not survive that right Okay, and when you continue, when we evolved, it came now to cultural kind of settings where we were being forced either to take on careers that were really not aligned to us because it was for the good of the family, marrying into families or marrying someone that we were not even in love with or even had a desire to be around because we were doing it for the good of the family. And we've created so much blocks and restrictions from all those choices we made in so many of our lifetimes, right? So how do the blocks come about? Basically by not living aligned to who we are at soul level, right? And our soul level is our divine gifts. So each and every time we make a negative choice, okay? So negative choice in this case, I'm not talking about lying or stealing or murder or whatever. Although that could be part of it because of course if you're doing anything that's going against another human being, that always causes drama for your own soul. It creates a lot of upheaval in your own soul. So I'm not talking about negative choices in the sense of that. I'm talking about negative choices in the sense that you make a choice that's not aligned to who you are. 
So if you haven't watched that video, do check it out because I really dive into deeply into how we make choices that don't align to who we are at soul level. Check it out, right? So when we make negative choices in our life, we start creating blocks of restrictions, right? And when I'm talking about the negative choices, it's not something that you woke up one day, an action that you took in one day, and then boom, the block and restriction was created. No, this is something that we've done repeatedly over. Actually, we probably made the same choices over and over again until the end of our incarnations in different lifetimes. So it's things we've carried out. We've been like we've been attracting the same situations and the same people over and over again and because we don't have awareness or because we don't want to do anything different we keep making the same mistakes over and over again so they create blocks and restrictions in our soul so the blocks basically if you're looking at the primary energy center they're just basically just look at it right you're creating dots a block a block I hope you can see this. I don't know if you can see this, but I hope you can. Okay. So just think about it. Like you're just doing that over and over and over and over and over and over again. So soon enough, where you were now supposed to receive vital force energy, the area now becomes limited and limited because there's so many blocks on your soul, right? You have limited access to vital force energy to create anything that you want for yourself. And how that actually manifests in our life is basically, like I said, the three major things. Our health, our relationships, our money. They all get affected just based on this. This is how it manifests physically for us, right? If you're struggling with um, something health-wise, like maybe chronic pain or something like that, I don't know. And please... Um, bear in mind that I'm not giving you a diagnosis here, right? Like there's so many causes of that. But what I want you to put into my, your mind is that on an energetic level, the root cause of the kind of pain that you might be experiencing in different areas of your life, it's basically these blocks. And you know how we create these blocks? Again, from the negative choices and by choices, I mean the negative actions we keep making over and over again because we do not have awareness okay so we limit our access to vital force energy that we need to create the kind of experience that we want for ourselves and you know what happens right now this blocks and restriction because they're part of our soul blueprint right they're part of our vibration who we really are so every time we incarnate into a new life because these blocks are already part of our soul, we keep attracting situations and people that are a vibrational match to these blocks. Okay? So we'll keep on attracting the same people because like attracts like, right? We don't go like and like. We like like and like. Like attracts like. So if you're a vibrational match to whatever these blocks are, you're going to keep attracting. In fact, you will incarnate to situations that are a vibrational match to who you are at soul level, right? Your family, your place about all, like they are all a vibrational match to who you are at soul level. Okay, so just bear that in mind. The experiences that we've had in our lives over and over again, right? As long as these blocks are part of it, we're going to keep on attracting the same things over and over again. So do you know how you would want to clear or walk away from attracting this kind of situations it's just basically by clearing clearing all these blocks and restrictions okay so and that's part of what we do with soul alignment work now from an akashic level right once we finish the reading with you the the energy center goes back to what it was originally with literally no blocks you go back to how the creator initially created you no blocks whatsoever like you become a brand new person right a brand new person on an energetic level note that not on a physical level your physical circumstances don't change like that because our body is the densest part of our being right so for us for anything for any change to be effected here it's gonna require a bit of effort from us Okay, and by effort, I mean it's going to require us to make different choices, stroke actions going forward. Because again, if you now go back to what you've been doing all your lifetimes, 
in this current lifetime also if you go back to entertaining the same people in the same situations over and over and over again guess what you create this blocks and restrictions again because you're still doing the same things you know if you want different results and i think so many teachers teach this if you want different results you got to do something different and this is the awareness I want to bring to you because it's something I'm passionate about. You know, because many people get addicted to this whole thing of working on your mindset, working on, you know, going for energy healings and all that, right? And that's all well and good, right? Including even with the Akashic Records, like Soul Realm Mentor, super powerful work here. When you get to really clear all this, it's so powerful. But here's what people don't do. They don't change their actions after. They still go back to the same way they've been living lives. So they get stuck now in a loop of, I'm going to be feeling good for the next couple of days because I really received an amazing, powerful healing, but I'm still doing the same thing. Like nothing else has changed. So guess what? The same thing that took me to that healing before is the same thing that will take me back. And so you'll be stuck in that loop over and over again, looking for band-aid solutions. I like calling them that, right? Band-aid solutions because they're not addressing the core of what is wrong. And what is wrong? It's just basically your choices, the actions that you're taking daily. So like I said before, it's not something that's going to come easily for you. I, I, I wish I could tell you that, you know, it's going to be easy peasy going forward once you receive an energetic healing. You know, everything is just going to be perfect. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the case. Because you'll go and receive the energetic healing or whatever, and then you go back to the same house to do the same things. You know, let maybe you're entertaining a partner who's not really aligned to who you are, going to a job that's really not fulfilling for you, right? You're going to keep doing that and then expecting things to change. They're not going to change. You're going to be back to that person's, that healer's desk in a couple of months or even in a couple of days because it will not have worked so if you want to really receive true healing you gotta start doing things differently make the hard decision yes it's gonna be painful initially when you all over start all of a sudden start owning who you are setting your boundaries with people starting to tell people no where maybe you used to say yes starting to say yes for a situation that you normally say no to right it's gonna be difficult it's gonna feel uncomfortable because this is not how you've shown up in your life in such a long time right so it's gonna be difficult initially but once you start doing that once you start clearing all these blocks and restrictions remember what we're aiming for is to remain with a blank slate here so the more of this, the more of these blocks you, and restrictions you clear with your choices going forward, the more you return to this. And returning to the integrity of who you were created to be means you have access to vital force energy, more vital force energy that you can actually use to create more and more of what you want in life. Okay, so that's going to end my presentation for today and I hope... I get to see you in the next video again, still talking everything Akashic. So if you really resonate with everything that I've shared today and you like the kind of content I do share out here, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell that's next to the subscribe button so that you might be getting alerts for every time I share out a post because I don't want you to miss out on anything that will actually empower you with knowledge right and if you're watching this like i always say there's a reason why you're here so please hear my words hear my hear the message that the universe is delivering to you through me i'm not saying that i'm empowered but if you're watching this until this far there's a reason behind that so do things differently that's that's basically what i'll tell you start making those hard decisions start getting out of your comfort zone if you really want to tap into truly healing yourself so i'm sending you so much love do make sure you subscribe click on the notification bell and as always i end my videos by sharing what how i can actually help you tap into truly healing yourself 
really energetically clearing all these blocks that have been keeping you stuck for years and years and years you know so if again if you're watching this i like for you to think of it like a sign that your soul is ready for this kind of healing so soul realignment work basically here's what you might expect from a reading number one we're gonna be doing a deep dive into who you were designed to be what your divine gifts are remember the divine gifts that you're supposed to leverage to create the kind of life that you want for yourself okay number two we're gonna be doing a deep dive into what your soul group is right who basically were you first incarnated and here's a little bit of a note for you we were all not incarnated into the earth hemisphere allow me to say that because i think this is the assumption that everyone was born like when we were first created by source we were just put on earth to figure things out that's not true for self for all souls which are on this planet majority yes but not all of them right i think the concept out here it's called starseed or something so if you'd actually like to know which soul group you do belong to and also giving you characteristics of that of that particular soul group which again is supposed to leverage to create the kind of life that you want for yourself number three we do a measurement of where you currently are vibrationally like we are, people always say if you want to manifest something into your life you gotta raise your vibration so we're still gonna be holding that in, in integrity right that particular concept but we now the Akashic Soul Realignment Trader you know, that we will be doing with you or I will be doing for you will basically be measuring where you currently are vibrationally, where you currently are and how you can raise your vibration going forward in order for you to manifest more of what you want. So that's the third thing that we'll be talking about in a Soul Realignment Trader. And the fourth thing, we get to do a deep dive into your blocks and restriction. We get to actually discover what your soul story is. We get to identify the particular lifetime that you started creating these blocks that you've been repeating over and over and over again, which are still currently repeating in this lifetime, thus creating a lot of luck in your health, relationships, and money. So if you're curious about that kind of work and you're ready to say yes to really rediscovering who you really are, really owning tapping into self-acceptance self-love tapping into becoming the best version of yourself possible and you're ready to say yes to that do you connect with me or even if you want to hear more information about it connect with me on facebook or instagram send me a message if you require more information i'll be happy to share with you or if you're actually ready to say yes to this kind of healing do book a reading down below in the description box i always leave the links there and for now Sending you so much love and bye for now and I do hope I'll see you on the next video.